Good morning. Uh, so, um, we're making a change of plans for a couple of reasons. One is we're damn tired. So tired, man. Even last night, not before, just coming home, charging all the stuff, dumping all the footage, and then I do everything as quick as I can. Have a shower, and by the time I get to sleep, it's like one, and then I get up at seven. Then heaps of traveling, the heat, the heat is gnarly. It's already like, it's like 7.30, and it's easily like 35 degrees, easily, in the sun especially. Also, our packages haven't arrived here, so we posted, like one of them being the, um, the satellite phone, another one being just a whole bunch of snacks and stuff that Nick ordered. It arrived two hours after we left, and then we had it express shipped here and it hasn't arrived yet. And so the idea would have been to go to Cameron's Corner and then come back here again. And yeah, it puts everything behind so we'd have to reschedule the whole damn thing, the whole damn, like most of the trip, Port Macquarie, everything, all the come just would have just shifted over. Um, so what we're thinking, regrettably, is to ditch Cameron's Corner, have a bit of R&R, &R, get our batteries charged up fully, froth out a little bit, Broken Hill, Hopefully our package, our packages arrive tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, that just sucks. Yeah, that's where we're at. It is pretty stunning out here. Wanna have a look around? Take care. Let's go. <laughs> staying here for another night uh, I think that's a really good move it sucks obviously that we're not staying at Cameron's corner that was our point that's the one that we wanted to make furthest point just right in the top corner of New South Wales but man like we're just a bit haggard there's so many things I just wanted to get sorted out like rearrange and just fix um, and I just needed this time to do it so and like it's a bit earlier on this in this trip um, Nick's having a froth on the bikes Jones. G'day! Oh yeah, we got a V-Stars, we got a K1200S, alright, cool. We got, a, we got a Thunderbird over there. Oh yeah! We're just gonna froth out, we're gonna get some brick here, and then this gives us a chance just to like chill, explore Broken Hill a little bit, because we've we just literally rode straight through it, hey. And there's some stuff to check out here, there's like the Mad Max museum and there's just like all these epic spots like look at it it's just full on barren wasteland this is actually where mad max was filmed like how sick is that and i'm just wrecked i'm so just wrecked it's literally just rinse and repeat i've probably said this a million times as well who knows i just feel like all i've done this trip is just ride and then just dump footage and charge stuff <laughs> like that is it and it's just so hot like it's meant to reach 40 degrees here today uh I even washed my pants and these were brand new when i left my boots come up to up to like here and that's like all the salt crap out of my sweat. How gross is all that? So haggard. <laughs> Ooh, they need a little wash. They're a bit damp now still, which is so nice. So refreshing. Oh, oh it is hot. I do not want to be sitting here for long. Look, I do not want to be at this light for a long time. I oh, know. How you going, mate? Yeah, good. That was nice. It's good having no bloody gear on the bike, eh? Hey? It feels so different. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. It feels so it different. It's like a toy. <sighs> so Mad, quiet, I love it. Mad Max styles, man. This is full Mad Max. And then you just see like a flare just go poof. That's when you know they're coming, man. Boom. Like, oh, they're coming. Signals. Uh, uh, I haven't watched Mad Max. Coming over the mountain on their bikes, ah, screaming. I know what talking about. What are you talking about? about? That'd be great if I actually watched Mad Max, but I don't. Oh, shh! No. It's a green light! Oh, snap! <laughs> he hasn't seen Mad Max? As if he hasn't seen Mad Max. I think everyone's seen Mad Max. Have you seen Mad Max? Man, if you haven't seen Mad Max, watch Mad Max. It's the best. Anyway, we're going to get some brekkie, because we're all hungry. I feel like this is the spot. Pecos! Hungry Jack, look how faded everything is, hey. It's just like... The, the sun's beating on it. 
just smashing everything. I love how this looks, bro. Oh, that's so sick. What a town, hey? What a damn town. Oh, look, they have breakfast. Dum, 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 dum. Ah, please inquire with your host. There's like a race of the species of humans here that we don't know about. No, no, it's little yeah. people. Little people, they're little people. <laughs> it's actually, they come out, <laughs> they start taking stuff. Like, no, you, where's your host? <laughs> oh, great. Yes. Zing. Zing, zing. All right, this is the titties, eh? It's the titties. Well, if he hasn't heard of the uh, term titties, titties meaning it's, it's the, the, the bomb. It's the good stuff. Uh, he's never heard it before. Maybe, I'll, maybe it's just me that says it, I don't know, who knows. But titties equals very good. I've just never been so consistently thirsty for so long in all of my life. I'm gonna smash this. Yeah, that's okay, I think I'm not drinking. Yeah, thank you so much. No worries. Just got ourselves a little bottle of water, had the feed. Now we're going to a place called Cockburn. <laughs> so mature. But it's the border, it's the South Australian border. Just to say we made it to the border. Because we ditched Cameron's Corner. Um, but damn that meal, just filled up man, just loaded up with water, just drank and drank and drank and I feel hydrated, finally, for the time being. But yeah, I feel good, feel heaps better, I'm just, just tired, I just need to, so once we do this, I check in, is at 2pm, time now is 12.48, we'll do this, ride back there and back, it's like an hour, half an hour each way, which is easy. And the boys are back on. We're cruising through the desert, man. This is all it was. It was just this for half an hour, just literally pinning it to the most western point of New South Wales. I thought there would have been full border security, with the whole COVID thing going on, but it was just literally this one little shop, some bones, a full-blown desert, man. We're in the desert. This is the most western point of New South Wales. We were just there with the truck driver and the shop owner. It was just us, like that was it. We're in the most hectic place. Ever. It was like, it was incredible. It was actually amazing. Like you just hear that sign just full blown, like what you see in movies. Literally, the board of the SAN. Around the backyard 2020. All right, see you later, border. Enjoy. Amazing. That was amazing. What a cool place. Like, look at this. Outback New South Wales. That was the furthest, most outback we reached, man. That was it. We're heading back inland from here on in. So we're pinning it back home, grab some beers on the way, grab some food, grab some snacks. And then we made this discovery. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I need to ask you a serious question and you guys have to answer in the comment section below. How many pairs of undies would you take with you on a 14 day motorcycle tour? Just go down there, write it in the comments. How many pairs of undies would you take with you 14 days? What is your answer? Let me give you five seconds. Four, three, Two. Moving on. Okay, so it turns out that Nick has bloody... Well, hang on. I packed four pairs of undies. Three t-shirts, three pairs of socks, or four pairs of socks, I think. I think one, one spare. They got holes in them there, so I'm not gonna use them. So three. So three. <laughs> um, Nick, he packed 14 pairs of undies. And? And? How many? I don't know. We didn't discuss that. Fourteen pairs of socks. Why? Why? The trip is fourteen days. But like, you literally have running water. How do you think a washing machine works? Soap and water and a bit of zhuzhin. A bit of a zhuzh. When you have a shower, you literally go in with wearing what you what you're wearing. 
Go in. What? Pull everything off. What? Give it a zhuzh. What? <laughs> Dude, zoom in on my face right now. What? What? <laughs> um, Bro, we cannot be such similar but different people at the same time. <laughs> But like 14 oh, pairs, yeah. 14, I don't even own, I've never owned 14 pairs of undies <laughs> or socks in my f life. <laughs> I just beat myself out. How good is that? I mean, who owns 14 pairs of undies? Do you own 14 pairs of undies? That's crazy, man. What is on? Some of the most Australian cuisine of all time. Sausage snacks, we the girl. We cooked some sausages, had some salad, had a solid feed, had some bevies, had a dance. <laughs> All in preparation for our mega ride the next day. All right, so we've got about seven hours ride today. So we're gonna bounce right now. Let's go. Oh crap, the bikes haven't been packed. Woo! Let's go. And the boys were back off covering 591 kilometers of Aussie outback. It's more than half the width of New South Wales. Wow. What? There's a fly in my helmet. Get out. Hey, we've got a curve! Whoa. That's how interesting this road trip was. How do we do that? There was literally nothing. There was nothing! Bring out the curves! Ah, that felt nice. Here's another one, ready? Look at it, there's nothing Whoa. there! The one curve for about six hours, man. That was it. Bloody lay down, cuz. Come on. Man. That was it, and I was, I was owning it. That was my yes. curve, baby. Riding in a dead straight line for about four hours to start sending over the edge a little bit. So when we came across a little playground, we took advantage of it. Man, how many horses that got, eh? One. Oh. Welcome to my store. Would you like to purchase something for me, sir? Yes. Vodka. Va va yeah, that's just gonna be seven wood chips, please. Oh, oh. Wait, let's go to get Holy crap. <laughs> oh, go! Oh! 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 Parkour! <laughs> Parkour! Ah. This actually feels so nice. That's very nice. Fuck off! Back on the bikes we go! Okay, we're done. We're done. Got a bit of burning feeling. <laughs> it's getting greener! Look at that. That was exciting, starting to hit inland a little bit more with the green, the trees coming through. Ah, I just felt, yes! Getting out of the desert. It's a little way house. How good is that? So we weren't too far off from Cobar at this point and we were so keen to get there. And when we got there we hit up our first motorcycle shop, MNC Parisi Motorcycles. These guys were lifesavers. Alright, so we just pulled up to Cobar and while I was in Cobar I was like, man, we just did 500k of the straight boring nothing from Broken Hill. I'm like, man, we need to get some chain loop because we just ran out of our Motul um, off-road chain clean and chain loop. And we've almost finished our off-road section. We have our last part today as we head into Gundabuka National Park. Uh, but we just pulled up to MAC Currency Motorcycles here in, um, in Colbar. In Colbar. Um, Claude. Fantastic, man. Set us up. And look, Rob got some, Rob, Rob got some fishnets. <laughs> Seriously, man. Rob got some fishnets uh, to protect himself because his, uh, his Akin Moto jacket uh, has like zero breathability right now. So yeah, so he bought that. And now he's going to be a cool boy. Uh, we just lubed up our chains and we're ready to roll. We got about 80 of tarmac and then hopefully 15, 20 of um, unsealed. But other than that, let's do that. We'll set up camp. We're um, it's 503. We gotta punch it. So let's rock and roll. Let's do it, buddy. Uh, I can already feel like I'm gonna get cold. <laughs> it's cold, man. <laughs> I feel so naked. I feel so naked. Wow. This thing is so good, though. I can't believe how just airy I feel. No more overheating for Rob. Hells yeah. Bring on the 39 degrees now. Where's Nick go? Is Nick around? I've had, uh, I've had my headphones in for like the past literally four and a half hours of riding. And it's so nice to be able to hear my bike again. Such a good sounding bike. 1050 triple motor, man cracker of a motor and the main reason why i got this bike right here motor and gearbox smooth oh no oh no i lost rob <laughs> i gotta pull a quick you my bad i got so into talking about my 1050. what the heck there he comes 
This thing is so sick. I'm stoked. I've always actually wanted stuff like this as well. For hitting the trails. I'll get used out of this for sure. Got myself a little cruise control thing here as well. It's not really cruise control, it's just like wrist support. So it's just like, I can just relax my hand on it. it makes a difference. I'm full on chilling out, baby. Gotta be right, it's gonna bloody start raining. Chances! Ah, uh, bring it on. Bring on the rain, baby. Especially because we've got two more days, two massive days of riding ahead of us. This is legit so good though. There's no, there's no resistance. It's just going right through me, man. Ah, it's the best. It's the best, best purchase I could have made. I've been sweltering for so long trying to deal with this heat. Now, my skin's literally exposed here. Like, how good's that? It's armored right up, man. It's armored to the mine. Oh, oh, it's cold. <laughs> no! If he says he's cold, that's hilarious. This road, this road looks like it's wet. But what? Did it rain? Oh, far out, it did rain. This is why I don't like camping. Look at that. Look at that. That's called a thunderstorm, friends. That is called a thunderstorm. And we are camping tonight. Thanks, Rob, for your love for the nature. Hey. We had an Airbnb booked in Burke today. It had a swimming pool with LED lights, secure parking, two bedrooms. Yes, yes, for the first time in the trip, two separate bedrooms. But no, we must do the camping for the pretend. But you're leaving you in it. Ah! Look at that storm. Oh my God. If I have to set up a tent in the rain, Man, let me tell you, oh, I'm a not to be a happy camper. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. Oh, far out. Oh, massive thunderbolt over there. Oh, far out. Look at this storm. I'm feeling the, uh, feeling the rain now. <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm gonna put the Akin rain jacket back on. Chances, that nah, should be right. See how gnarly it gets. It's just pouring down, then yeah, probably will change. <laughs> Chances, man. It's so funny. Before that, that looked like a hectic storm. Hey, oh, bro. I want to be running from this, not running into it. After riding for seven hours, we only had about half an hour to go. And at this point, I just wanted to get to the campsite and set up before this storm just absolutely unleashed on us. If there is one word of advice I could give my past self right there, it would be... Closed when wet! Closed when wet! Heed the warning, Rob. Heed the damn warning. I can't put the... Oh, holy crap. Far out, mate. This is not a good idea. If we go back, we're still going to get hit by it. Wow, it's getting worse. Oh, no. Rob went down. Rob went down. 